Experts from across the UK and the European turf and amenity sector gathered recently at Burton Albion Football Club in the Midlands. The Emergency Chafer and Leather Jacket Summit was convened to offer the sector a better understanding of the pests and current controls available. I'm here to learn more about the problems that the industry is facing and also try and work out where we can assume our position and, and offer the assistance that we can with the tools and equipment that we have at our disposal to be able to make the products that they need. The reason for coming today is we've been having increasing issues over the last few years with leather jackets in new laid turf situations. I've got um, badger damage in people's gardens, cricket clubs, um, I've got fox damage, um, I've got so many, so many uh, problems with chafer grubs, leather jackets and a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of pests in turf. We need solutions. Um, people, I'm, a, I'm an advisor, I'm a grounds maintenance advisor, um, people look to me for advice. The people on the ground are the ones who have the most knowledge, so we want to learn about how extensive is the problem, where are the problems, what can we learn from them, what's their experience on using these types of products. This summit's come at a really good time because it's been a massive step change in our industry, you know, very recently. Um, I'm constantly getting asked, you know, what can we do about this problem on our golf course? And of course, with the chemicals having gone off the market now, we've, we've never faced a time like this before. So I really wanted to come here today um, to find out what's happening with research and listen to the, you know, the best people who are dealing with these things at the, at the sharp end and particularly learn about the products and how they should be used. It's brilliant that there's so many different people coming together who've got different sort of uh, pieces of the jigsaw, which will allow our members, the, the golf green keepers who look after the turf that, that the four million golfers in the UK play on, um, can start to piece that jigsaw together. So we're all here to learn and I hope we can take the outcomes of today and, and present that jigsaw to, to the green keepers and, and more broadly to the, to the golf industry. And secondly, we've got to move towards a much more integrated approach in relation to how we look at all these solutions. The identification is very important and I think it's a paramount amount important. Because nothing is going to happen without identification. So I will take it some journey um, towards the chafers and the white grubs. Let's not beat about the bush. If we have pests that are in the soil, we need to find a way to kill them. Biopesticides uh, are the way forward, and they've always, used, uh, they've always uh, interested me. Um, I prefer to be using something natural rather than chemical, as long as the natural thing isn't more invasive and more damaging than the chemical. In the end, we are losing a huge amount of chemicals, and. Uh, we, we need solutions. Knowledge breeds solutions. Um, you know, without knowledge, you're certainly never going to find a solution. So absolutely, but it's the knowledge comes first because, and that's the thing with a complex problem. You need all these different pieces of knowledge to understand. We, we talk about nematodes and the fact they need to be applied in certain conditions, at certain temperatures, with certain moisture. If you don't know that, you can just waste a lot of money on, on what someone has told you as a solution. One thing that's really coming through time and time again with all the speakers that I've listened to today was the fact that a correct identification of what the problem is, is the, is the start point. And, um, you know, I, I have to take that away as my, my big takeaway thing today. It's been extremely useful. Obviously, as we know, uh, these pests uh, are becoming more and more prevalent as, we, as, as, we, as the years go by. Uh, there are some clients of ours where, you know, it, it, it is a genuine, it was called an emergency, and it's, it is a genuine emergency.